Hello, it's Jacob, and I'm uploading Lucas's video today because he said that it's a horrible video, but I decided that I will take the horrible video and turn it into my sloppy seconds. He stole the video from my hard drive, and I'm gonna get my lawyers involved. It's actually not a bad video, so like, don't click off. Stick around to watch the video. Now let's get into it. I hate when YouTubers say it. It's like, we're already in the video. Why are you saying stick around for the video? We're already watching the mother effing video. This is we're the in the video. This is the, in this is the, I'm done. <laughs> you should probably start in the closet, right? Yeah. Come on, pep up the energy. This is a show. This is like Broadway. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Stop that. This is my channel now. It's the Jan Jan. Nope, it's my channel. Today we're going to be finding out who the gayest is between me and look at this gay person. You're on Logan Paul's vlog series. <gasps> Hi Logan. Hi. So this is a gay person I found on the street. I'm also gay. And we're going to be watching a video, Gay Men Decide Who's the Gayest. We're gonna watch a YouTube video where they do this, but I feel like this should be more of a common activity in life. Not only with gay people and with straight people with any sexual orientation, we need to put everyone in a line and rank them. Based on stereotypes. And you have to put in your front yard, I'm the 72nd most gay person in this town. Yes, I have a wife, I'm straight, but for some reason my peers thought I was the 72nd gayest person in Topeka, Oklahoma. Before we get into this, who would be gayer between us? I feel like we both are pretty gay. Uh, I honestly think back in the day it would have been me, but now we're equal. Oh, back in the day you were gayer? Because my voice was a little... So you judge people on their sexuality based on their voice. Other people judge me on it, so I just put it in my brain and now I'm brainwashed. That's very sad. Your voice is gay. So is mine. Own it. It's sad. I find it happy. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the video. On a scale of 1 to 10, how gay are you? Uh, 100. And I'm a drag queen, so <laughs> I mean, that's just, just saying. This should be what they ask you when you get your driver's license. <laughs> yeah, we need it on the car. Yeah, they should just say, okay, you're gonna give us your rating of how gay you are, and then we're gonna decide by looking at you, and we're gonna put on your driver's license. What if you got pulled over and the officer was gay and they found out you were gay, and then they wanted to ask you out on a date? That might be unprofessional. I would say like a seven. I feel like other people would say higher, but. I don't think I'm that gay. I understand why people would say he's gayer because his skin's shining. If your skin's shining, the gay level goes up about four points. Like right now, your skin's shining, so... Mm. Gay level up. Yeah. If you had to answer this question, what would you say? I mean, I guess I would say 10 out of 10 because I'm fully gay. But then again, I've had girlfriends in the past, so maybe like a nine. Because if Abby Lee Miller hit me up, I would let her smack it. She did hit us up. <laughs> okay, that's for another video. One time we were walking in LA and Hollywood. Yeah, we saw Abby Lee Miller. In she, a wheelchair. Yeah, she just got done with surgery and we had a legit 10 minute conversation with her. We mostly did. Lucas, but I was in the combo. Yeah, like I, for, she didn't want to take a selfie because like he said, she was recovering from some sort of facial surgery. Yeah, I just was so surprised by that whole experience. She's hot. And she has a hot mama. Have you seen her? Her mom's dead. Um, so yeah, so... What would you say for you? Just like you said, be a ton out of ten because, um, I've only liked guys, so... Then if we're obviously gonna just go by stereotypes, I feel like I'm maybe an eight, like, because I feel like maybe two out of ten people might say, oh, he's straight, maybe. Yeah, if we're going totally by stereotypes, like, you don't have a purse and you don't wear makeup, so I guess that would cut off a few points. <laughs> yeah. And also, you don't enter every room by saying, yes, Henny. So that's a seven. Oh, shit. Am I not as gay as I thought? I need to step it up. That's the thing, is that we might actually just be twos. Also, you don't even watch RuPaul's Drag Race, which I know that means you're low-key homophobic, but we won't get into it. <laughs> what makes one person more gay than them? I mean, there's all sorts of different things. There's like a whole language we've developed to communicate with each other where we're using signals, clothing, articles of accessories. There's different types of clothing gay people wear to show other people they're gay. Like, what would that be? These. I'm they're above the knee, which means gay. That isn't a thing anymore. Maybe in 2017, you could tell if someone was gay yeah. by how short their shorts were, but now it's getting so annoying. I go and walk around my neighborhood and all these straight dads are wearing short shorts. And it's like, are you on Grindr or are you a straight dad? <laughs> you don't know these days because the straights are getting gayer. Yeah, it, se it seems like they're developing emotions. I know, you see a guy smile and usually that would mean, okay, they're gay, but now even the straight men are smiling. It's a weird time we're living in. I'm trying to adjust. Bring out the homos. 
Oh shit, 10, 11. The guy just got gayer. <laughs> <laughs> he got gayer by just being in his presence. <laughs> that is like 11 out of 10. Though. Yeah, he is really rocking the gay, I love it. 10, a 10. He's not really my type. <laughs> Did they even ask him or he just say that? <laughs> it's like, I, why do you have to say I'm not I, your type? Was I, that prompted? I feel like they didn't even ask and he just had to <laughs> let it out. He's like, by the way, like I don't want to have sex with you at all. It's so funny because looking at this guy in his outfit, like that's what I picture myself to be, but I don't actually wear stuff like that. But like when I picture myself in my mind, like I'm walking around like that. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Camera too. Oh, this guy immediately is like a one. He's gay because he's on this episode, but like he's not screaming like stereotypical gay, you know? Yeah, I didn't know my computer teacher was gay. I just thought like he was like You have a, a computer nerd. teacher that's gay? No, so he looked like this and I just thought, oh, he's straight. Oh, like, your computer teacher looked like that. Yeah, and I just thought he was straight, but I didn't know that he was gay. Not saying that everyone that looks like this is gay, but you know. That you is know. what you just said. Yeah, they are. You're canceled. Immediately, I'm gonna go like kind of in the middle. The fingernails are painted, but like the shoes are a little dirty. <laughs> are dirty. Like if you're gay, you can't even walk through dirt ever. You go on hikes with your shoes, straight. Ew. Gay shoes are pristine. They're sleek. They're brand new clean. This game is so much fun because right when he walked in, I was like, he's for sure gay, but if I had to rate him on the gayness scale, he's like a six. Yeah. You know he's gay. He's gay, but can he do the splits? We're not sure. So probably around a six or five. Yeah. That's another reason why I'm not as gay, because I can't do the splits. I've been trying to. I just wanted to include this because I wanted to tell you that you actually aren't ghost. Everyone does that. And if you say that you don't do this, you're just lying. Oh, I edited that myself, so I'm the one who wrote that. I know, but I just want to let you know you aren't ghost. Oh, okay. It's fine. I know, I just wanted to defend myself because like, I know there's someone out there who's gonna call me out and say, why are you rubbing your nose? It's fucking sick, what the hell? And I just wanted to, you know, you gotta get the joke before but I they- let them You gotta know. make fun of yourself before they make fun of you. But I wanna let them know that they are nothing and you should never comment hate on anyone because it makes you a lower person and you wanna go higher. Like Whitney Houston said in Higher Love. The Kygo version is the one I listen to, but there's also no vision, I think. That was my New Year's resolution for 2020 and it hasn't gone well. Just because you want to go on Instagram doing the splits? Yeah, I feel like that would launch my Fit T ad influencer career. Oh, and then also in the uh, show song, you can talk we're doing the splits. It would be fun just for like, on a Saturday night, talk we're doing the splits. I don't just in front of your parents. Yeah, I don't care who I'm around. Like anyone's gonna find it impressive because you can talk we're doing the splits. Hopefully me by the end of the year. Let's see. Have a look here. He just had to look behind him. Like, did he think the back of the shirt was gonna say, like, <laughs> I suck dick or something? He did that to make sure, like, how big the booty was. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you were in the gym, you'd be wearing booty shorts for sure. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I can see it. Um, I'm gonna say you're, like, a solid nine. With the, you know? Yeah. And you're, like, giggling. Like, I know, you're, you're a gay guy. Only gays giggle. What happens when a gay guy meets a straight guy? <laughs> They get along. <laughs> Giggling gay ass. <laughs> Poor straight guys, like, they aren't even allowed to smile or laugh or you just let out a, a little giggle without people thinking they're gay. Yeah, they just have to hide it. You are very masculine. Grandpa! I didn't know you were gay either! You blend pretty well. Blend with who? Straight people. I'm gonna go with five. A two. One. You never know. Yeah, he just looks like a regular older man. But sometimes you'll see a regular older man at Walgreens, and when they're back at home, they're twerking in the splits, throwing it back, choking on that. Lollipop. He lit me like a lollipop. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Like a lollipop. Like a lollipop. Like a, like a, like a lollipop. Like a lollipop. Like a lollipop. Acne, it's fine. Great. I would say he does not look super gay to me. I would guess pretty low. Maybe like a two. Can we do like a talking test? Yeah. The quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. The quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. I just keep imagining if they asked you these questions at the DMV. <laughs> they were like, okay, do a little bit of a talking test and I'll rate how gay you are. Like, put him on the driver's license. They wiped out everything and everything in the driver's license <laughs> had to do with who you wanted to have sex with. Like, oh, it, said, yeah. it said like, just a bunch of stuff like, who's your preference? Small, <laughs> big, or medium? Ass guy or tits guy? <laughs> 
Are you gay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's so funny just staring at someone like, what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, like, is there, is there gonna be some like psychic overwhelming <laughs> Yeah, is he gonna just like start sweating out a glitter strand? <laughs> I'm feeling this blouse. Thank Hello. you. Is it vintage? Yeah, it's vintage. Okay, yeah. This is real gay. Bleach blonde hair gay. Oh yeah. Even though like Justin Bieber had that. He um, was gay for that moment. I don't make the rules. How has every single person dyed their hair blonde for a month? You haven't yet. You haven't gone through that gay stage yet. Yeah, I haven't yet, but it seems like everyone has. Oh yeah, like, I, went, I went through it about a year and a half ago. I bleached the whole head. Just part of like the homosexual journey, you know? Everyone goes through a hair bleaching stage and everyone goes through a stage where they date people in nursing homes. You already went through that stage a couple weeks ago. But then it ended because of the um, whole situation that's happening with the coronavirus. No one can visit which makes sense, but it's really sad because I miss Johnny. Story time coming soon on his channel, subscribe. I'm gonna go with 10 on this one. <laughs> 10. 10. Yeah, this is as gay as it comes. I hope they'd say that to me if I came in. This is as gay as it comes. I know, <laughs> I would love that because it's like, yes, I like am completely gay. <laughs> you guys, um, I'm sorry, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Tom. I'm Dominic. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Now we're gonna bring people out and we're gonna talk about Okay. Now the gays are gonna react to the numbers that were given to them and like say what they thought and like their gayness and everything. it'll be really gay and homosexual. And I'm visiting my family this weekend. Do you feel like their opinion of you drives the way you dress and act? And yes, present yourself? a lot of my, that's the biggest thing. Like why you see me like this? Yeah. I had some outfits laid out on my bed. I can't wear this. <laughs> this is like, is I can't scary. let my mother think of me this way. Oh, uh, poor guy. He, he hasn't came out to his parents and that's why he said he dresses as a straight person. I wonder what the outfits were that were laid on on the bed. Like a thong? Oh yeah, all Or just those. like a glitter skinny jean. Oh, that one underwear with the butt took it out. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> You're just gonna show up and just that. <laughs> I would probably give myself like an eight plus. Can you tongue pop? <laughs> That was close. Bad. It was alright. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Oh shit, I wouldn't be a 10. I don't know how to tongue pop. Can you? Oh wait. Oh, it doesn't sound right. Like, I don't know how to do that, but I know how to click my tongue. Anyone can. Oh, but do like the classic like... Oh my god. I'm gonna have to come out of straight tonight. You're gonna have to. At the dinner. family dinner. What is your time? Like... <laughs> like... A big black beefcake daddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> <ooh>. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be you one day when mom's like, oh my god, when am I gonna be able to meet your boyfriend? Describe him to me. And you'll just be like, a big black beefcake daddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> As you guys know, this is Lucas's video, and I actually felt uncomfortable doing that part, so I, I kind of. Um, I'm not gonna ask for one, but can you say, like, uh. Like, I couldn't cut it out because it's your video, but can you say... You could have cut it out. You know, I see the editing software on your computer. And also, no. you just told me I had acne in the last clip that but we... But can you say Sally? No. I refuse to apologize until Andy Cohen puts us at a reunion table and forces me to. Are you a one in private? Definitely just... not. I'd go with an eight or nine. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, he said once he gets behind the closed doors, he becomes an eight or nine on the gay scale. Oh, he's been practicing all those years. Like, the that whole means... entire time, he's just like... He puts on the strap on and just goes to town. Even though he already has a dick, he just does that. That's his kink, and that's totally fine, guys. What do you think you are? Probably like a nine. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it changed when I started watching Drag Race. Like, I've yeah. avoided watching Drag Race for the longest time. I was like, this is so gay. And then I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> this is internalized homophobia. And I started watching it, and I'm like, I'd rather just be more gay. See, I told you, this is no one's for Paul, it means you're homophobic. We watched it the other I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. No. You can be gay and not enjoy Drag Race. We watched it the other night and I did enjoy it. Like, I loved it. Did it make you more gay like it did to this guy? But I feel like I already, like, knew all the slang. Oh, yeah. Except, like, not the heeny one. Oh, uh, heeny? Saying it like squishing honey. <laughs> heeny. Heeny. Uh, I don't think there should be a spectrum of being gay. No, I think you're right. And I think outside of the sake of this exercise, we're all just fucking gay people. Did he mean, well, I'll just f gay people, like, just what? Like, well, I'll just f gay people. What do you mean? Well, I'll f gay people like even our <gasps> mom is gay double person, meanings and even our grandpa is fucking a gay person our grandpa is a gay person and okay, our grandma stop is saying a gay stop person. you know what if you're gay um you're gay there's no scale of gayness there's no scale of straightness you know we're all just blobs doing different things doing different people eating different things going different places no i don't believe that i just believe what the guy said wow 
gay people. <laughs> even if the person you're effing is straight. Yeah. Stay humble even if you're super rich and have all the fame ever because humble is what makes everyone like you. Bye, Spala Lucas. Toodles. Goodbye, Z's, actually. Bye.